All right, today we're going to be talking about uh, time signature. Time, I can't spell, signature. Right. Now, when you have a, a staff filled with notes and, you know, quarter notes, eighth notes, they're all connecting, right, into some rhythm, you have to divide them in Western music, they're, they're divided um, metrically. Um, so if I show you a bar of, of just some notes right now, bam. Okay, so um, after this treble clef, there are just some, there are some notes written, right? But they're all divided by these, let me get a different color here, by these lines right here. And these lines are called, well, they're bars. Uh, you can call them bar lines or whatever. Um, let me write that out. Bar lines. Because it's a bit confusing, the terminology uh, in terms of time signatures. Um, people call them bars, people call them bar lines, but I, I actually like to, to distinguish the lines by the word lines and the area between two bar lines would would be called a a measure. People call them bars themselves. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I'll, I'll probably call them measures for now, just just to differentiate the two. So let me write that out. <clears throat> so. The area between two area between two bar lines is a measure. <clears throat> okay. Um, and measures can really contain anything. It can contain notes, rests, or a combination of both. Right? We can see there's a rest here note here, note here, rest here. Um, a, a double bar or, or a double bar line is written to, en to indicate the end of a music piece. Uh, it's, it's made by it's made by uh, one thin and one thick um, line uh, with a thick line always on the outside. So we already have a thick line here so let's say if I put a thin line right here Okay, that looks about the same thickness as the other one, but uh, let me make this thicker then. There you go. So we have a thick line at the outside and a thin line on the inside. This designates that this piece of music, wherever it started from before, has now ended officially. And uh, I'll give that a little label here. So double. Oh my gosh. double bar line indicates end. Okay. Now the number of beats in each measure usually remains the same throughout the entire piece. This underlying beat per measure is represented by the time signature, which is composed of two numbers, one on top and the other on the bottom placed at the very beginning of the musical piece immediately after the clef. So there's no, we don't see any time signature here. But let's say if this were to have, <clears throat> oh I don't know, uh, a, a consistent number of, of beats, not just a, you know, not just uh, random notes. Uh, let me show you an example of what that would look like actually. Alright, yeah, so as we can see after the clef there is a, I guess, a, a ratio on, on top, one number on top, one number on the bottom. So again, the time signature is um, ratio of beat per measure. Right, so 
I guess that's um, <clears throat> that that's basically saying that it, let's say with with three four right three over four, meaning that there will be three counts in this measure. Right. <clears throat> the bottom number I like to think about is basically the type of note. So I like to think that this is this is the this is like a quarter note, right? So you're gonna be playing three quarter notes in this measure. You're gonna be playing two quarter notes in this measure, four quarter notes in this measure. And that would make up the time signature for that measure. I want to go well, well, over one last thing quickly, and that's uh, that's the uh, uh, common time. Now, um, if we had, uh, let, let me let me draw it out for you. Again, if if we had, if we had the uh, the time signature at four four, right here, right. This is saying again. Uh, the top number is saying that uh, there will be four beats four beats and this will be the type of notes quarter notes right but these two things this this little C right here this means what is known as common time and that is exactly these the, these two things are are, are, the, are the same 4-4 four, four is common time in, in Western music. Uh, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.